Hi guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about sizing. Currently, Sawgrass is still in what you call beta for the new Creative Studio. What I wanted to show you is, see how this is what they give us. We don't know what this is. What's this measurement inside of this grid, okay? We know that we have one, two, three, four squares by four squares, uh, but we don't know what this is. Is this a, you know, eight and a half by 11? Is this a 12 by 12? What is this? Is this, you know, 12 by 18? What is this measurement? We need that. We're gonna use this grid to manipulate and figure out our sizing, okay? What I did was I stretched this out. I currently printed this. This right here, I was afraid was bigger than an eight and a half by 11, but it's actually not. I printed that out and it completely filled up. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna switch cameras so you guys can show you really quick. This is what we got. So this is where I filled up that entire front of the t-shirt. This is what we got. And you can see there's a little gap here, obviously, and a little gap here, which looks bigger here, okay? And if I measure that out, we have, um, you know, about three quarters of an inch there. And we have about, we have about a quarter of an inch up at the top. So that's what we have. But either way, the point is, I still had a little bit of room to stretch that out, which I could try to completely print that again. But what my point is, I'm assuming is that is an eight and a half by 11. So if you completely fill this from edge to edge, if you're needing to completely fill this page or the, the you know, the height of this, um, that's gonna be an eight and a half by 11. So if you're wanting to play around with that, okay? Um, and I'm fixing to show you in the grid line how to create. Um, so I'm gonna show you really quick. So if we go over, so I'm gonna switch back. We're gonna be talking about this image here. So let's go ahead and switch back and I'll, I'll show you what happened here. Back over here at Creative Studio, I wanna show you how you can figure out almost exactly the measurement, okay? Obviously we're gonna be off by my mute or so, but at least while you're playing with this, you can get some of those measurements. What I'm gonna do is you're gonna come down here where it says more, the three dots, click it, come to custom print area, you're gonna click on that. What I do just to get an exact measurement, an exact number is I'm gonna put in 12 by 12, which I've already done here, um, and then I'm gonna hit create. Now the reason why I'm not doing an eight and a half by 11, because obviously the paper I'm working with is eight and a half by 11. You would say, well, why don't you do that? Because the measurement's a lot easier to come up with because this is how you're gonna come up with the math. So you're gonna notice, let's bring in our grid, that you're gonna have your four by four square, okay? So we know that each square is three, six, nine, 12. So each square is three inches you know, three by three square. But what you're gonna have to do is take that 12 inches, 12 divided by four is three inches. That's where you're gonna get your three inches. If I put in 11, okay, divided by four equals, you're gonna get 2.75. So then each square would be 2.7 high. And then if I put in 8.5 divided by four, it would be 2.12 wide. That's way too hard to try to figure out a, the exact number where I have three by three. So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna take your image here and I'm going to bring it down. So say I'm wanting a, obviously we don't wanna manipulate. We would not widen this guy and, and his, we wouldn't make him tall and wide. Obviously, we wouldn't manipulate the, the design. Either we're gonna change his height or we're gonna change his width, which would automatically change one or the other, whichever one you're, you're working with. Most of the time, we're trying to figure out that height, okay? So say that I need a six inch gnome. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring him down and I know that six inches is two squares because I'm working on the height, not the width. Two of these is six inches, three, six. So what I'm gonna do is, I, you could do it on these two squares, these two squares, wherever, okay? Say that I like it here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this down and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep the top of his hat and the bottom of his, of his feet in between these two squares. So you're just gonna have to work and move him back up and then maybe I need to bring him back down little increments because it's going to kind of float them around um, and then I can click out. That looks good to me. That's going to be six inches. I did this, then I printed it out to so be sure. Now also I could know, okay, well this is, before I even print it, I'm going to say this is six inches. This is going over about a, you know, so it's say we divide it into three. One, 
two, three inches. So I know this is about one inch. So he's about six by four inches. So I printed him out and this is what we got. So let's switch cameras again. All right, so we're gonna take this image here. This is the one that I printed from there. And I'm gonna bring my ruler over from his shoe to his hat. And it is exactly six inches, right on the money, to the T, okay? Now to figure out his width, I got, let me do from this glove to the edge of this. It was almost at four inches. So it wasn't perfectly four. Hopefully you guys can see this. Um, I was off by one minute, okay? But either way, that's gonna get you pretty much right on the money. Back over to the screen here. So I highly recommend that if you're trying to get um, that exact measurement, you come play with this screen. So until they get ready to go, I highly recommend you just come to that custom print area and do it in here for now, just to make it easier because you're gonna be able to get that pretty much right on the money, like I said. Now, let me explain what happened. So say that I have it right here, and you say, okay, well, why can't I customize it here and then go over here to blank products and then click on clothing, click on the t-shirt, and then bring this back up. You're gonna see, okay, so I'm gonna bring this up on the squares here. I'm gonna get rid of that by clicking front. So you guys can see, I'm gonna zoom you in. So you're gonna see it's gonna to go to the top of this and I've got this gap now. It's weird, when you try to bring it over, it changes the size and you can say, okay, well, I'm gonna come below that little, um, where you see what's like shadowing there. If I come below that, it's still below. So this is what will happen if you do this. So I'm gonna show you this, the size difference. If you attempt to bring it from there to here, um, this is what'll happen. So I printed it, so I had it at six inches in the square and then I clicked it just like I showed you, brought it over to the t-shirt and this is the size difference. So this is what happened. So um, don't do that. So that's not gonna be the same. So when you bring it over, it's shrinking the image for some reason. So I don't think you can do that. Um, so, but if you wanna design on the product, just keep in mind, this is about an eight and a half by 11 because when I printed that, it, it, it came out perfect. So you could do the math there and figure out um, if you're really good at that and you really want to break it down, especially if you're just working with a hive. Um, if I need to work with that 2.75 I was telling you about, I could figure out, okay, each square is 2.75, figure out the math of where I need it to be, um, and, then, uh, and then go from there. Assuming these squares are 2.75 by 2.75, I'm talking about the, the height here, okay? So if I did two squares, I perfectly lined that up on the height. Um, and then I print this. Let's go ahead and hit print and go through the process. All right, for, I'm gonna choose from a textile. I'm gonna choose polyester um, text print R. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit print. Now I should get 5.5. Let's see if it gives us our 5.5. All right, it did, it did almost. So let's see, almost. Let me kind of go over her shoe there. So you guys can hopefully see that we're off again by a minute. So what is that, like a millimeter? I don't know my stuff. But that one little dot there. So I was off by a minute. I am assuming, so like I said, this is eight and a half by 11. So if you wanna do your math here and be able to design on the t-shirt or whatever it may be, um, just know that now, let's just say really quickly that you're gonna have to start over again. So if you were on drinkware, say for example, let me go to 11. I go to this mug. Um, what is the standard size? I can't think of it right now. Um, I'll leave it, I'll probably put it on the screen here somewhere. There's a standard size of paper that you can order from like Heat Press Nation. It'll be linked below. Um, that's probably the, the size of this. Say it was eight and a half by four. Okay, just say it was. Then we'd figure out these same four squares um, and say they were four. So it would be obviously one inch by um, you know, 2.12 wide, like we did before. So then you would do that same figuring out, um, obviously on your bigger designs, wide, if that makes sense. So, so there you guys have it, it's easy peasy. Um, just remember, you know, to recap really fast, if you guys use that 12 by 12 grid I told you guys to use, um, you can get those numbers exact. Um, and then don't try to bring that image back over because you're gonna get a smaller image, it's gonna mess it up. Um, the front of the t-shirt obviously is an eight and a half by 11, so you know, you know that you can mess with that there to fill the page, or you can 
remember that the squares are 2.75 by 12, you know, 2.12. So whether you're doing width or um, width or height, do your math there to figure out. Um, and, and pretty much you're almost going to get the exact number there because we're fiddling with it on the front a little bit. It was just off by a minute. Um, so there's that. Stay tuned. The next video, I'm going to show you guys how to transfer your guys' designs, images, and all that from the old studio over to the new. Once again, if you guys have a business or anything like that and you don't have time to be fiddling with this while it's in beta mode, I highly recommend you stay back there on the old one and wait for it to um, at least get the numbers. I would, once it has like the exact measurements and stuff like that, then I'd definitely swoop on over. But that's just a little tip for me for you guys that may have an Etsy site or anything like that. So. Also to note, I'm going to point out really fast. So this one, and I'm going to double check. So I want to tell you all the correct thing. Um, this page right here to show you the difference whenever you're choosing your, your correct colors and stuff like that. This one right here, I chose Caesar Glitter. And then I chose the text, text print R, which is the correct paper. Now on these other ones, I had made a mistake and forgot to... Um, to switch over the settings so these are actually set to textile and then true pix classic which is what it was automatically set to so pay attention to those and make sure you're setting those correctly so i want to show you why so um if you notice these colors are off a bit look at how this is more of a maroon and this is more of a brighter red um and these were text print r and i have them on something else now we'll press them another day and kind of see the difference if you you know mess up like from a textile this is not only i chose the wrong paper i chose the wrong <laughs> it's for textile um and then this is actually for that and then this one right here i chose i think i chose the polyester fabric and then i may have left it alone i don't know i done forgot after a while but i know for sure this was the glitter and then these two were to that automatic that textile that true classic so you guys can see the color difference there hopefully um so make sure you guys are choosing the correct settings on that so i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope you found it helpful if you did please hit the like button down below and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one